All right, let's go ahead and evaluate this expression. We're multiplying a fraction by a mixed number. And to do this, we, we really shouldn't be multiplying mixed numbers here. Let's go ahead and change that into an improper fraction first. So to change this mixed number into an improper fraction, I've got 3 times 14 plus the 1. And that would give me a 43 over 14. We keep the negative with this because its total value was negative. Now at the same time, we are multiplying two negative numbers here and here. So since we're multiplying two negatives, two is even, so we know our answer is going to be positive. And uh, we could multiply these straight across, but here's what I'm going to recommend doing is if we look, we can see that 7 goes into 14. Um, and this, the reason we can do this is because if we wrote this out, we'd have 7 times 43 over 3 times 14. Well, I can move these around and make it 7 times 43 divided by 14 times 3 if I wanted to. And this allows us to take the 7 and 14 and simplify them right now. 7 divided by 14 would be 1 half. So I can pretty much change these now into 1 and 2. And 1 times 43 is, well, 43. And 2 times 3 is 6. And if we needed to, we could change this into, an imp uh, into a mixed number by taking... 43 divided by 6, but I'm okay with leaving this as an improper fraction like this. Now, of course, if you wanted to divide and make it into a mixed number, you would have 7 and 1 sixth like this.